Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7, voiceover edition. To celebrate a week of vlogging, I went to a cookie decorating class. A couple days ago, my friend Maria asked me if I wanted to go to another cookie decorating class. I had gone to my first class with her earlier this year in June to celebrate us having survived the 2020-2021 school year. This in-person class was put together by Brittany of Six Bees Creation, and I'm going to link her information down below. Not only does Brittany run a cookie business, she teaches online and in-person classes. I actually signed up this year for her insiders program so that I have access to her classes online. She has a background in teaching which makes following her lessons easy and enjoyable. If you have ever seen a video or reel of cookies being flooded with icing, then you know how easy it is to be hypnotized and go down a rabbit hole. This is why I definitely recommend checking out Brittany's classes if you want to learn how to make that magic happen too. Back in June, Marie and I decorated a cookie set with a bee, cloud, beehive, birdhouse, umbrella, and rain boot. Now, it wasn't bad for my first time, so when Maria asked me if I wanted to take the gingerbread cookie class, I was so down. The purchase of an in-person class includes all the tools and icing you will need to recreate Brittany's theme creation. The cookies are pre-made and the icing pre-mixed. Items such as scissors, tweezers, or the scribe tool are used during the class only, but Brittany does have tools you can purchase from her after the class is over. She also emails you a copy of her cookie and icing recipe if you want to try it again at home. We started class by learning how to pipe simple lines and shapes that would be used on the cookies. From techniques to tips, Brittany's got you covered. After practicing, we move on to the actual cookies. As fast as cookie decorating may seem online, it actually takes a lot of time and patience to end up with the beautiful creation at the end. Um, and also a lot of mistakes. Brittany took us step by step and cookie by cookie. We were never just working on one cookie at a time. You were constantly rotating and working on something new because you needed to allow each ice part of the cookie to dry. This helps to achieve the crisp, clean layers that you see in the final product. Achieving a perfect outline was definitely satisfying, but flooding the cookies and getting that glossy puff was true gold. Once you've gotten a solid foundation, then comes the fun part, decorating and the little details. At this stage, Brittany will still walk you through the decorating process of how she did her cookies, but you're always allowed to add your creative twist. As we near the end of the class, you add your final touches and prepare your cookies for transport. Brittany provides you with a tray to not only allow for safe travels with your creations, but to also allow the icing to completely dry. Oh, and bonus, she shared her edible glitter. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it flies in the air. Oh, that's so cute. So <laughs> Just like some confetti that someone wants oh, in my house. Yeah, yeah. Confetti guns. <laughs> Do you want a bag to put all the so, icing in? Sure. Not good? <laughs> Thank you. So for the big reveal, this is what we were trying to recreate. And this is how it turned out. We went to a cookie class. We're all done. Yay. Look at how cute these are. Edible glitter too. Ace is mm -hmm. gonna love that. Yay! Thank you for driving. <laughs> of course.